Greetings and welcome to another episode of Auto Afflicted. I'm your host as ever, Ollie Goulet, and today I got a special treat from my Sprinter family out there. Unless you've been living under a rock self-quarantining for the last two years, you're acutely aware of the Sprinter market exploding. And today we're at Acme Overland, one of the premier coach builders in North America for all your Sprinter needs. I'm gonna take you in, show you everything they're working on, all the cool stuff they do, get a real good behind the scenes look. But first, please, please take a moment and drop a like on this. The like is right down here on your phone or if you're watching on the TV with the controller, you just press down a little bit. The like is right there, the subscribe is right there. And more important than almost anything, the notifications. Please, please hit the notifications already. All right, have you done it? Are we good? Can we go? Let's go inside. Hello? What's up, dude? How goes What's up, it? Tom? How are you? Doing well. Hey, uh, <sighs> welcome. Sneak attack here. I was hoping <laughs> you might um, show me around your facilities, you know. Maybe burn some of your valuable time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea you were coming. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, so this is Acme Overland. Um, we started, it's it's going on six years now. Started as kind of sprinter van conversions, um, mainly because my wife and I wanted one. That was kind of how the whole thing began. And found out collective skill sets between myself, my wife, my dad, bro, um, people we know, like, we could build one of these very well. And that's just kind of how it's evolved. Um, not in, into only, not only Sprinters, but um, the, the Sprinter counterpart, the Ford Transit, and then also the larger Expedition vehicles, which we'll, we'll get into back here. So, so you come in the front door, this is what you see. This is just our little client meeting area, um, dog sleeping area. This is, this is like the, call this the vision board, I guess you could say, things that we're working on, things that are um, in process, clients' vans. This van's going out the door, so that one will come down. Um, I'll add up the next truck that's coming in. But these are, these are our projects that we're, we're working on or in process. Um, we always have, oh, we have a production van we call the Albion. Those, there's always typically one of those in, in process. So that's a van that is, um, you know, we've developed a floor plan specifically. We just build it, not particularly, not particularly for a client, but um, just as a van to build and then perhaps sell at the end um, or show or take to shows, those sorts of things as a marketing vehicle. Um, but everything else though is, is for clients specifically. And then things on the wall, um, just builds that we've done um, that we, you know, we really enjoy. That van there was really fun. The client, uh, all of our clients inevitably become friends. I don't know whether they like that or, or they don't, but um, that van really turned out a lot of fun. We've we built it, um, we've done a number of upgrades to it, and uh, really just, it's fun because the, the, the client, Matt, he's in North Dakota, like that process of things, you know, we, we build something, um, it's a, it's a, the process is great, the, the, the first outcome's good, and then you use the thing, and you wanna develop and build on it because you're using it this way or that way, um, that sort of thing. We're able to do everything in-house. Um, I do CAD work. The, the metal work does go outside just simply because it takes a whole nother shot, but everything from cabinetry to upholstery work to suspension work, I mean, kinda all the nuanced features of the van or vehicle we complete here creates a very cohesive finished product in the end. So we're typically working on between three and four custom vans. Usually be working on one large expedition truck at any given time and that, that the time that those take is significantly more. So kind of uh, a lot of different things going on. So um, this particular van here, we can start with this guy and I'll just walk through kind of what we're working on. Um, this van is about at, call it 75%, um, and again, we do everything here in-house. So this van started as a cargo van, um, no windows, um, we've added all the windows, vent, roof rack, we do, awning we do, 
solar on the roof and we can jump up in here if that's uh, if that works yeah walk me in certainly over the last couple of years we've developed um, this control panel which basically controls inverter water lights just a little bit of everything all kind of in one place and i like that because then you don't have a million and one different controls around the vehicle so um, this also has an app associated with it so you could be sitting outside and you know you want to turn on your lights and you can do that so um hot water heat uh air heat a very powerful um electrical system that's housed back over in here you kind of get a sense of um, what's going on like I said this van's not complete so there's still gonna be some dust and dirt around it but um, for the most part like very very um, diligent when it comes to detail and stuff that you'll you'll really never look at never we'll see behind the scenes and we'll see we'll see that in the other vans as well so um, so yeah that's kind of this this van here I'll jump out over here this van here another Ford uh, this van's actually leaving tomorrow but it is actually a, a pretty unique build for us. It is kind of atypical from your traditional, you know, quote unquote, sprinter van, adventure van build. It, it has full indoor shower, very, and this is actually like, this is almost like you'd see like a traditional RV. Um, really, it's got that kind of style to it. Um, but full indoor shower bathroom has the large refrigerator, microwave, piles of storage around this thing. Um, sunroof we've installed on it if we swung around the back get a sense of like cabinetry finish um pop this door here so the the rear space of this van converts from dinette um bed stows underneath um seats slide out and becomes the bed becomes the bed space so it, it really is like you know you you, you think of a, a traditional rv this is kind of what you what you think of um, our take on it, I think that the finishes, the fit, are, are much higher than a traditional RV would be. Um, but I just, it's kind of, a, it's kind of fun because it is a little bit different for us, and I think the outcome really, it really turned out pretty nice. So, um, like I said, this thing will go out the door tomorrow, and uh, yeah, it'll be fun to see. These guys, they're up in, they're up in, they're out of town, so they haven't seen, other than my photography, they haven't seen the the van at all in person for a few months now. So. It's kind of fun. The, the 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 reveal will be will be interesting. So right, that's always got to be fun when you show the customer the finished product it's, and they get is, to like yeah. get their minds blown. <laughs> <laughs> it is the I mean, there's there's a handful of stages in the build where it's like the drop off is exciting because it's you're beginning this thing. There's the there's kind of the there, it's kind of in thirds where like the first third you're you're done with you know the wiring you're getting paneling up. Um, and then you get panels of poster, those go back in and it starts to look like something. You know, you're like, well, I can see what is happening. And then you get some cabinets in there and it's starting to like really lay out. And then, you know, eventually it just kind of, this happens and it's like, oh, that, that turned out pretty cool. So every time, yeah, the, the, the reveal is incredibly fun, um, but there are those, those stages of things that are, they're, they're very exciting, so. Yeah, I can um, say as a, a customer of a coach build, not of yours, but, of having a car built the worst part is the middle yeah. where you just cut the chest the weight <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and it, it is i mean it is a weight i mean it's it is the the thing it's like these are not built um i don't know how you could build one um it, it takes it takes a fair amount of time there's so many details um you know even up until the last literally the last day we were just finessing a few things here just a few minutes ago and then it goes out the door and um yeah that's that's the fun part for sure so right and at this point in the universe, I guess. Um, I mean, as far as like, you know, you want a sprinter, you want to build out, you want yeah. someone like Acme Overland to build it out. Um, there's a weight. Yeah, yeah. You know, fortunately or unfortunately, like it's a it's a good problem for us that we're busy. Um, it's a problem, though. Of course, the you know what I typically tell people um, looking for full build right now, it is we're booking right around Christmas time, kind of that that time frame. Again, fortunately, we are busy, very busy with things and. Um, it, yeah, it does take some time though. That weight is, I, I can only imagine what the weight feels like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. I don't know. I've waited three years before, so. Three, uh, that doesn't take that long, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we've got, uh, we've got one more we can show you. We'll run through the door out back here. Um, uh, this is, this is what we are getting more into. And, um, a space that is, I mean, I, I love vans. The, the, the builds we do, I think, are, are very high quality. Um, you can only do so much with a van, though. 
So when you start getting into like this space, it changes it changes everything about everything. Everything that goes on with this sucker is is on a, a much larger scale. So this uh, what what we're doing, we have a partner in, in Germany that we are bringing in these sort of uh, these are you know typically they're an ex fire truck. Um, they're as a, as a fire truck typically is it's very well serviced, low kilometers, low miles. Um, the beauty of these is that they are all mechanical. Um, so if something breaks, there's no computer to try and you know diagnose or shut you down or whatever. It is it is for most you know general purposes. You can you can sort the thing out pretty easily. They're uh, four wheel drive. They have rear locker. They have center locker. In some cases, they have a front locker. Um, to note, this isn't this is not a Unimog. It is a it is the in 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 a similar family. This is typically Technically, it's a uh, 1824 SK. 18 is the, the the weight rating. 24 is the horsepower. Um, and yeah, it's just a, it's a beast of a vehicle that will pretty much go anywhere as long as you have height for it, and um, you can take all of the stuff with you. Um, and, and and to note, like you're not typically traveling like you would in a van. You're you're, you're traveling in this for. Um, an extended period of time and really like you can go many 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 places with this thing so I'll show you the finished work I'll tell you this looks like something that uh, Kanye would take to McDonald's drive-thru <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna watch you climb up in there <laughs> and then I'm gonna levitate <laughs> so now that we've levitated up into this this um, cabin area um, so we yeah, this was the first one of these that we've built. The construction, I mean, honestly, is is easier than a van because it's it's you know for all intents and purposes square, um, ninety degree angles, that sort of thing. Um, but there's just so much more. I mean, there's piles, more cabinetry, uh, more things to finish, um, and it's just a, it's a bigger setup. We have we have a custom um, shower that we built for it, uh, custom gray tanks. And I mean, this thing capacity wise, you've got 100 gallons of fuel, you've got 100 gallons of water, um, hot, cold water, kind of all of those like great things that you'd expect in this thing. Um, and just tons of storage. Um, this, this space converts to a small bed. You have a queen size bed in the back and um, heavily insulated just due to the construction of the box itself. It's a fiberglass um, composite construction. Um, all the windows are uh, they have, you know, blinds associated with them, and we can swing back here. I'll show you this guy. So this thing will go, you know, blackout curtains will have screens, and then you can pop these guys um, and open these windows. So they do kind of fun things like that. Um, and same system, so it's kind of cool that we, we, you know, utilize the same system that we use in the vans for, for a vehicle like this. Show you the shower oh, behind you. Throw yeah. the garage lights on for me? Sure, yep. I love the color in here too. It's one of those things, you know, color and finish, you, you see it in a very small scale on a table typically. When it comes to building it, you know, that pattern could have gone very wrong. Um, but it does, uh, it does complement the green, does complement like the warmer whites. Um, thank you. Yeah, I think it kind of all did fun for it to come together because that obviously like we saw in the van back there like that's the best part when you see it all done so it really you know, kind of came together so but yeah I was going to say the shower um, it's a full wet bath like we, we we had a custom made shower pan for it so the shower pan is not only a place for you to stand but it also is a gray tank so the water goes directly into that tank and then it's um, we've got dump valves that we control with our touch screen so um, kind of just a cool finish on the, the whole thing and this we just finished up uh, would have been a week ago so kind of smells very clean and very fresh in here which is which is fun I want to see the, the big fat wheels let's do that I want to see what you know what the cockpit looks like let's do it we'll go we'll levitate back out um, stepping on out we just uh, got new tires put on it uh, would have been Week and a half ago or so, um, so they're 395, 395, 85 R20s. Um, so they're obviously a, a very large tire. I think diameter-wise, they're like 47 something inches. Um, we've added additional fuel, like a larger fuel tank, 
Um, spare tire carrier. We've added a lot of the toolboxes to this thing. So it's a... Uh, What's that guy right there? Uh, that's fuel filter currently. It's a, it's a uh, separ uh, water separator. will also be a heater. So this, this truck being of its age um, and where it lived before didn't, didn't, doesn't have glow plugs. So that obviously creates a challenge in winter, but that will um, mitigate some of that um, as far as heating is concerned, heating the fuel. So That's like 70 bucks. You don't want to have that show and someone will come and steal the catalytic converter. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, but we've got to figure that out. So maybe we have to hide it in some way, shape, or form. Um, you want to you want to jump in? Well, you got to carry that stuff. Hey, you you jump to, up you in there. You want me to boost you? I'll jump in the driver's seat. <laughs> okay, you jump in the driver's seat, <laughs> and I'll find someone to boost me. This particular truck is technically 18 speed. Um, so it's got six low, um, six middle, and then there's a half shift. So it has kind of six in between shifts. So if you're you know, say you're going up Parley's Canyon or you're going up a canyon, you need just a little bit less or a little more gear, you can you can pop down with this little uh, little lever here. Um, diff lockers. Do you have to have like a CDL for this thing? Um, not in the US, no. Technically, it's just below that weight limit. So, um, and like I said, you drive it once or twice, especially because it's it's a it's a uh, manual shift. Um, you drive it once or twice and you, you get used to it. Um, the automatic version of these trucks is obviously a lot easier uh, and it it's just makes it a little simpler was one less thing to think about but um, you get used to it pretty good but you don't need a CDL uh, you, you, you're just under that weight limit so you've got air control you've got your tech you've got your kilometers an hour um, uh, you've got your fuel pressure like it's all it's all pretty straightforward stuff we've added we like to keep um, auxiliary lighting very clean so we um, we source the stock um, light switches from from Europe so those control all the lighting overhead um, central amber lights um, and you wouldn't know that they were not part of the you know not part of the truck so um, you've got heated mirrors um, what else we've got reverse camera we've got your little stereo up there so um, yeah it is it is very very simple up here their ride seats go a long way in comfort because it is you know it's it's, it's Leaf sprung, it's, there's not much suspension to it. It's pretty rough around the edges, but air ride seats take a lot of that away. So, right, and I see you got the spare tire back here. How yep. big is your lug wrench? <laughs> it's actually something I need to get one of because it, it, it is not your, it's not your, um, you know, regular toolbox lug wrench. It, it, it is much, much larger. So that comes with a shoulder strap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> shoulder strap, little, yeah, it's, um, it's fun the things that you learn about because it's like we have a lot of tools and we've we've done a lot of things as far as vehicles are concerned but this puts it just because everything is bigger so everything needs to be bigger bigger tools and um yeah stronger muscles and, and those sorts of things <laughs> <laughs> tell me uh, about the graphics on the outside of this thing yeah the graphics so this this truck particularly that was the color of the cab this this pattern i specifically created for this truck this this kind of um uh, i'll call it squircle call it call it like a um uh, i don't even know the right term for it but this this particular like soft squares um that pattern i carry through just as a branding so that you'll see that on all of our like you said on our on our bed panels it will be on our vent covers we utilize it on our roof racks in places um that, that carries through just as a as a branding uh, piece for us so it, you know hopefully 10 years down the road you see an acme vehicle maybe you don't see the the verbiage acme uh, but you see the pattern and you kind of just are like oh that's cool that's acme stuff you know so um, that is uh it's that's that's i guess my background as a as a designer that's a, a huge part of it part that i really like to carry through uh, i feel it really creates just a very cohesive product so um and, and end result so yeah and you guys do a bunch of your own uh, various track systems and things like that right do you have some of that stuff you could show me yeah inside? yeah 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 this particular you know this is more of like a brush guard on this truck super super simple um so that's just like one so we do uh, aluminum in many, many cases. Um, so that pattern you kind of see throughout the whole thing, but this is just a flat piece of aluminum when it starts, laser cut the pattern out. Um, we carry this track system. This is a logistics track, L track. Um, you'll see that in flooring, um, just utilized uh, in so many different ways. Um, 
But yeah, this is going to be a two-panel system for, for a bed. We'll have a mattress on top of it. This this particular step here, um, you know, carries that pattern. It's a, it's a step we've developed, and I see that pattern across this hood here in the wrap. We use this fabric in our um, Albion builds, so it has our pattern. I worked with the mill overseas to, to create the fabric, so our Albion uses this fabric. Well, I like what you do here, Tom. It's been really cool watching you guys like Thanks. build this thing up from, you know, from just tinkering to to what it is now. Yeah. Yeah, we did, I mean, tinkering is right. We started, um, kind of briefly met my dad back there, but we started out of his garage, and the summer was, had to have been the hottest summer ever. And, you know, working on the roof of a van in this driveway was brutal. And then it felt like that transition into fall had to have been the coldest fall ever. So then it was just like the most extremes, and then we got our first shop. This is the second place we've, we've been in. Um, so yeah, I, I, I appreciate that. We've, I feel like we've come a, come a long way when it when it comes down to it. So I mean, it's a quick and dirty tour. A um, little noisy, a little dirty, a little messy, but um, through and through, uh, it's just, just a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. Actually, these are probably probably can't show these some of these, but I'm just gonna give you a T-shirt. Um, can't show. Them. Well, Top you know, secret. I think. Supreme probably wouldn't like that one. Oh, you yeah. know, The Simpsons probably wouldn't like that one. The I don't Simpsons. know about the. National Force, uh, <laughs> but uh, I mean, I don't know. So, a, lot of, a lot of tough copyright moves. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, try and, I try and do one of those every year just because it's fun. Right. It's just something different. So. It's like an old classic. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. So, yeah. Sick. Well, thanks. Tom, thanks so much for the tour. Such Love a pleasure. what you guys are doing. Thanks. Um, to everyone out there, you know, Acme Overland, check them out. Please. On the, on the web, on the social medias. Your favorite bands are here. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> so that's a wrap here at Acme Overland. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. I just stole a LaCroix and I'm gonna leave with it. But uh, yeah, thanks again for checking it all out. Please subscribe, hit the notifications, drop a like on it, drop a comment on it even. Let me know how you feel about this and we'll see you at the next one.